Hey guys, Technic here. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my OBS tips and tricks and, my, and give you my updated render settings. If some of you don't know, I have an i5 and I can record it up to 1560 FPS. By the way, just a reminder, I've decided to choose all of my giveaway winners at the last part of my 1.5k special, so I won't be announcing them in this video. I hope you can enjoy the video and learn some cool tips and I hope this can help you record. Enjoy the video. Alright, so before I even get into like the actual OBS recording tutorial, um, this is probably the most important part when it comes to recording overall. Um, always make sure that when you go to record and do anything, always run OBS as administrator. Click on yes and it will launch as admin. Always make sure to do that when you record. Without that, you will probably not go anywhere when it comes to recording. So yeah, make sure to do that. Alright, so the first thing I suggest all of you to do is always have preview disabled on OBS. While having it enabled, you might have a lot of uh, misk uh, slash skipped frames and your recording can look overall choppy and uh, mess up with your PC. Now for the colors. Uh, you can see that I'm using uh, process burn in high. Personally, that really helps me um, get less encoding lag on my video. Um, keep in mind this might lower your in-game FPS, but it can give you like a big boost when it comes to OBS recording. And as you can see, I'm using sRGB in full on my color space and color range. Um, if you want co correct colors on OBS, um, then use sRGB in partial. You can easily change full to partial by clicking on the little arrows. I personally like to record at 480 FPS. To be honest, if you can go above, then why not? I can easily go above, but in my opinion, it just looks the best and it's the easiest to record at. So I just keep it at that. Now for my output. You can see that I have rescale output disabled. Make sure to use that if you want uh, the best video performance and um, have it like the easiest to record for you. Um, make sure to set your encoder to uh, NVIDIA NVEC, the new one, and set your ray control to CQP. Now, if you record at 720p, like I do, then use 13 CQ. If you record at 1080p, then record at 14 CQ. And basically, those numbers will give you like the lossless quality image um, for your recording settings. So yeah, make sure to use that. Also, um, one cool trick. Um, if you set your profile to baseline instead of high, it can help you like re uh, record by like a lot. Like, Personally, I can't really go above 1260 FPS recordings while using high profile, but while using baseline, I can go up to 1560. I know those numbers are really high to begin with, but like changing your profile to baseline can really give you a big boost when it comes to recording and make it like a lot, a lot easier.